What's up, YouTube? A um, few updates here uh, on this WRX swap. <laughs> a lot more reliable. I mean, kind of. I'll show you why it's... I put kind of on that, but a lot more reliable than the uh, um, EJ22 to NA, you know, or NAT conversion, just because that car, that wasn't meant to have a turbo, obviously, and it's, the longevity is always going to be in question with, you know, the compression ratio and you put slabbing a turbo on that. It's not really, you know, set up that way from the factory, unless you make heavy modifications to the, you know, the internals to make sure that's good. So this WRX swap, I'm very happy with. Um, this is how it looks in its current state. Uh, you can see I got uh, a scoopless hood. Um, it, it's propped up right now because I'm going to show you what's underneath the hood. I don't need a scoop. It's not functional So because I have a front mount. So um, painted the headlights yellow. Pretty nice. Um, I don't know. I just liked it. wanted to see how they looked yellow. Uh, <laughs> wheels are still green. Um, <laughs> I asked my wife because everyone's just trying to race me because they see these green wheels um, and it's got an exhaust on it. So people just see this car and they're like, oh, this guy races. Um, so I want to kind of be a little more inconspicuous. And I say that, and, and my wife picked out the color for me that would match this gray. And she picked out um, blue. So not like a bright blue, but like a darker blue um, or kind of in between. So that should not stand out as much. It'll still stand out, but not as much. And I kind of, you know, I like that. I don't just want to go with the stock, like, silver or gold. I want something that's a little bit different, so. Um, now I'll show you what's going on underneath the hood, because a couple things changed. Okay, so I don't know if you remember seeing it before, but the piping was chrome or stainless steel. It was all beat up. So I actually painted that black along with the, uh, the intake was red. The short ram there so i painted it black you can see it looks i'm okay with it for now as long as it's one color but this is wrinkle paint so it's supposed to be wrinkled like right here it wrinkled pretty good and then like over here it didn't wrinkle at all and then it started wrinkling up there this is apparently hitting the hood um this one didn't wrinkle at all and then this one wrinkled like way too much and only in some spots um what i did here for that was i painted it and then I took a hair dryer and stuck it in the tube. So it was kind of heating it because you're supposed to like bake it, heating it from the inside out. Um, and that worked well for the, for the driver's side. It worked well for over here. It just, I left it in there for too long. You can see almost like burnt the paint, but like right there, it looks good. Camera isn't really picking it up, but it actually looks decent. It's just a little too wrinkly on this side and not enough on this side so it looks a little bit weird but i mean the black looks much better in here as opposed to the chrome so i'm happy with how the uh the engine bay looks the bigger modification that i did was right here i don't know if you can see the camera's picking it up those are the injectors right there that are blue um the dark blue the old ones are light blue so you can see those there. Um, these are two sets of injectors, so that's why there's like, I don't have a <laughs> an eight cylinder here. That's just two sets. So um, the reason I upgraded the injectors, well, the, first of all, those are the 565 CCs. Those are the ones that come in um, new WRX's STIs, um, and the old ones are like 400 CCs, like 365 or 400. Um, so the reason I upgraded those was because. Um, I was getting a new tune, so I upgraded the fuel pump as well um, to a Warburl 255. I just had that laying around. Um, that's an easy swap. So the injectors took me about two hours, removing like those green brackets of death, the, some of the brackets that go over the fuel rail and the uh, um, injectors to kind of protect them, I guess, if you will. So I had to remove those. That took like an hour. Um, and then removing the actual injectors took me like... Uh, not too long, probably about an hour to fully take them out and put new ones in. And then the fuel pump is pretty easy. It takes like a half an hour or 45 minutes if you know what you're doing. So that wasn't too bad. So that was like three hours worth of labor. Um, but the reason I upgraded all that and got a tune, you're not going to be able to really tell from here, but it may look a little bit bigger. It's because I got a VF48 turbo. So it comes stock with a TDO4. It's right here. That's a little baby. Um, and then I upgraded that to a VF48. 
I said I was going to stop modifying stuff, but this was just too good of a deal to pass up. And I had some money floating around. So um, injectors were 50 bucks. The fuel pump I already had, so that was free. And then the uh, turbo was $300. So that was $350 in total. Um, the turbo install took me two hours. So we'll round up and say, you know, 350 for parts and then six hours for labor. Um, so how much did that net me? What did it do exactly? After that, I had to get a tune and I do e-tunes. I may have said something like this before where you send off a data log to a tuner and they look at it, send you revisions of maps based off what they saw in the data log. And then you keep going through these revisions. Um, and, and then when you're done, you have like a, you know, you can tell I'm more conservative and more aggressive. I'm more conservative with the tune. So before it was running with the TDO4 around, 240 horsepower 250 to the wheels um now it's running 306 300 well around 310 we'll say 310 to round up um so yeah it's got like 60 more <laughs> 60 more horsepower for including the tune uh which was 250 about 600 dollars in six hours with labor so 666 666 there um it, it was just too good of a deal to pass up um for 60 more horsepower and that's why i said it's kind of more reliable than the EJ22s because this is running a lot of horsepower um, on this block that has 170,000 miles on it. So, I mean, uh, it's still, I mean, I, I don't d just get in the car and just run it to 7,000 RPMs every chance I get. I'll, you know, maybe one or two times I'll do it when I'm driving it for now, just because I'm like, man, this is a shit ton of power. But um, with, with this much power to the wheels, it's about 360. 370 to the crank um that's what you know they advertise cars as so uh crank horsepower it'll keep up with a you know newer sti for sure stage two sti it'll keep up with the newer wrx's as well like you know with minor bolt-ons the older stis and um wrx's easily beat those um with maybe some more uh, major modifications uh easily to keep up with them the power um is a lot different than the tdo4 the tdo4 would kind of um it had a little bit more well same amount of torque but the power would come in real quick at like 3000 rpms and then slowly die off as you got to 7000 rpms this one doesn't come in until about 4000 i'm running 20 psi this doesn't come in until about 4000 but the curve looks like um like an x equals y kind of graph it's just straight up the entire way. So it kicks in and it kind of kicks you back, but it doesn't stop. It just keeps going. And I hit 310 horsepower at like um, 6,500 RPMs. So it just keeps, keeps, keeps going. Um, doesn't stop. That's why I wanted the VF48. So um, that's the updates right now. Uh, one, one, also, one, one sweet thing, <laughs> not really sweet, but... Uh, I'm definitely going to have to upgrade the transmission soon uh, just because fourth gear is grinding um, at high, high, high RPM. So in daily driving, nothing grinds. But when I'm going like, you know, 80 and then I shift into fourth hard, we're talking from like 7,000 RPMs in, in, in third and shifting into fourth, which I shouldn't really be doing. I, I've, did, I've done it like twice. That's where I felt the grind because then I'll be going like 100 miles an hour and there's no reason to really do that. Um so I'm not, it's not a huge deal for me. It's like a light grind. Um, but yeah, I'll upgrade the transmission to a six speed eventually. I don't, I just don't know. Cause that's really expensive. That's like three grand and a lot of work. So, um, that's definitely coming. The clutch and flywheel were upgraded already, um, on the WRX, um, donor that I had. So it's like a lightweight flywheel and like, I think like a stage two clutch. So it's holding it good. <sighs> While I say that, um, because of the green wheels, I said people try to race me quite a bit. There was a Civic. <laughs> there was a Civic that tried to race me, like one of those newer Civics that, that have like turbos on them, I guess, or whatever. Um, saw the green wheels. Um, in Seattle, it rains a lot, so, you know, it's kind of wet. And I'm like, well, this is all-wheel drive. So I dropped it into second and kind of gunned it. And when I did, um, the clutch slipped like it it just flew up real quick to like 7,000 RPMs and I wasn't really going anywhere. I took off a little bit. Um, sad part was I kind of like pulled on him a little bit. Um, then the clutch slipped. 
Um, so I, I really only got like, you know, up to 3000 RP, 4000 RPMs before it started to slip. And so I was like, shit. So I, I, I stopped, slowed down, put it in a second and again, and then gunned it. He was gone by then, um, put it into second and did it again. And it still slipped. Um, couldn't smell clutch though. It was really weird. Um, so I put it in third and gunned it and it didn't do it. And I was like, oh, okay. So, um, second gear, the clutch is slipping. Normally it does it in higher gears. That's really weird. Um, so I put it in a second again, just to try it out one more time. And I turned the wheel as I was doing it and the back end kind of flipped out, um, kind of like shook. And I was like, oh shit. And the clutch was not slipping, um, in the rain, second gear, um, cannot get traction. <laughs> so it was just burning. It's, it's a WRX transmission. So it was just, um, burning out <laughs> or just wheel spinning, um, in second gear, which is nuts. Um, I've had plenty of Subarus. I've never, well, I mean, it could have been the road. The tires are pretty much brand new continental DWSs, which are supposed to be really good in the rain. Um, but yeah, it just, <laughs> it just burned out in second. So I want to show an acceleration video from like zero to 60 now, but I'm afraid first of all, first gear, I think is going to just break loose. If second was already breaking loose in the rain. Um, and, and uh, I just feel like the transmission may not be able to hold it um, with 300 horsepower and, you know, stocks five speed. So, um, again, probably a six speed coming up. Oh, yeah, one more mod that was pretty cheap. Picked this up for 50 bucks. People have mixed um, feelings about this. This is a Cobb lightweight pulley. Um, you can definitely feel the response on this. It definitely revs up a little bit quicker. It's not like, oh, my God, this gave me 60 horsepower. It's like five horsepower, but what it does is it just revs quicker uh, and the revs stay up um, a little bit quicker than with a, or come down a little bit faster actually with a um, heavier pulley. So that was another thing that I did. Um, if you saw the interior, it's all redded out with an STI um, cluster and an STI, or excuse me, Pro Sport red gauges. So it looks really cool in there. Um, yeah, definitely going to dial it back. <laughs> again the the transmission can't handle a little more power can't handle it so um i really have to dial it back um so i'll try to post an acceleration video maybe from like 30 to 80 um so people can kind of see what's going on with it there but very satisfied with uh with everything right now it's it's definitely got a lot of power um way more than most cars on the road <laughs> So uh, I'm definitely satisfied with it. I can recommend a WRX swap to anybody. And or two, I would recommend a WRX swap to anybody and a VF48 turbo on it. Just really solidifies it. Again, it's a little bit more laggy, but the power is just constant. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks, YouTube.